Hello everyone, I had to share this amazing revelation knowledge from the Holy Spirit of God. He was speaking to me today and it was just amazing church. I tell you, I thank God for the Holy Spirit because he is my leader, my teacher, and my God. And I'm always blessed to be receive new revelation. Amen. And it is on the five virgins. The Holy Spirit was talking to me and he said, Donna, the five virgins with lamps and no oil, you know that they have the word of God, but they do not have the oil. You know the oil is Jesus. It is salvation. In the book of Psalms 119 and verse 105, it says, Thy word is a lamp. So they have the word, but no oil. And without Jesus, you don't have salvation. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 1 through 4, we see the 144,000 are virgins. The word says they're virgins. So therefore, they are the virgins that have the lamp, but no oil. We know they are the bride I know a lot of people teach that the 144,000 are not the bride. My friends, we are all the bride of Christ. God will be united with his church. Uh, the church in the Old Testament, the church in the New Testament, and even the church in the Great Tribulation, and even in the wrath of God. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 2, verses 2 and 3, and in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 2, makes it clear that the virgin is the wife of God. Read those scriptures, church. It'll show you. And we see that the 144,000 are virgins because Revelations 14 and 1 and 4 establishes that word with us. Now, the Holy Spirit of God was speaking to me and he said, Donna, what happened? We see that the word of God, they have the lamp. And the ones that have the oil, when the bridegroom comes, they will go in through the door and they will go for the marriage supper of the Lamb. They will go to the wedding, be united with Christ and God and become one with God and with Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit said the five virgins that have lamps but no oil will be left behind. Now, John makes it perfectly clear in the book of Revelations chapter 7 and verse 4 through 8 that they are the 144,000 are of the 12 tribes of Israel. He gives the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, I'm not saying, church, that all of the Jews do not accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior because I do know they are a lot of Jews that do accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I'm only establishing the word with you what John is saying that the 144,000 are of the 12 tribes of Israel. He gives the name of the 12 tribes. And this is what the Holy Spirit said. He said, Donna, the five lamps that have no oil will be left behind in the great tribulation. I had Someone had to be left behind to preach the gospel. And they have the word. They get saved in the great tribulation, the 144,000, and they're willing to give their lives to God and for Jesus Christ. They love Jesus so much they give their life for him. And the Holy Spirit said, so you see, for that's why the, the ones that have the oil going through the door. And everyone says, who's going to be left behind to preach the gospel? Those five virgins that have lamps but no oil. They have the word. They know the word of God. They're going to preach the word of God in the great tribulation and they're going to get saved. We know the 144,000 get salvation. They get the oil. Doesn't uh, Matthew 25 tells us that uh, they go to buy the oil? So they are going seeking the oil, church. The ones that have the lamp after the church gets raptured. After the church goes, ascends up into heaven through the door. Those that were left behind that had the word are now looking for that oil, ain't they, church? They're looking for the oil because they now know and believe because the church went home and they got left behind. They now know they need that oil and they're going to go get that oil. They know they need Jesus. They know Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man goeth to the Father but by him. So now they're going to get the oil. And we know they get the oil 
because in Revelation chapter 21 and verse 17, whoo, glory, this the good stuff. We see that John sees the measurements of the wall. He said it is 144,000 because Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 18, whoo, that's the good stuff, says the wall is salvation. Oh, do you hear me, church? It says the wall is salvation. And we see that the 144,000, when the church ascended up through the door, the virgins that didn't have the oil, that didn't have Jesus, that did not have salvation, went to get that salvation after they saw the church going home. And they take their lamps that are burning bright because they got the oil. <laughs> oh, it don't get no better than this, church. It don't get no better than this. It's amazing gospel. I tell you, I love this word. The Holy Spirit was telling me now they got the lamps and now they got the oil and their lamps are burning bright. They're going to go out and preach the gospel. They're going to get a multitude of nations, tongues, and people. And they're going to bring them to Jesus Christ. Because their lamps are full of the oil. They're full of the salvation of Jesus Christ. And we know they got the salvation. Because we see that in Revelation chapter 21 and verse 17. The 144,000. John measures the wall. And it is the measure of the 144,000. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 18. The wall is salvation. So we see that they did receive the oil. They went to get the oil after the church ascended up. The ones that have the oil. The ones that were ready. And when the bridegroom came, they went in through the door. Went to the marriage supper of the Lamb. And those that were left behind saw this and was a witness to this. And knew that by the word of God, this had taken place. And now they go to get the oil. But when they get that oil, whoo, they going to be on fire. They going to be preaching that gospel with fire. Because they have their lamps, the word of God. And now they got the oil. They got salvation. And they are willing to lay down their lives for Jesus Christ. But at one time... All they had, church, was the lamp. They did not have Jesus. But when they do get the oil, they love the oil. They love their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And they give their lives for Him. That's how much they love Him. That's right. That's how much they love Him. Church, I had to share that new revelation knowledge with you. When the Holy Spirit gave this to me, I was a shouting glory. Hallelujah. Woo I tell you, church, you just don't know how much I love this word. I love the word of God. It is alive. It is living words. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Are you eating that word, church? That word is so good. It is amazing. God bless each and every one of you. Church, you got your lamp? You got your oil? Amen. Because I got my lamp over here. And my lamp is full of oil. Praise God. It is full of oil. And it's a burning bright. Amen. It's burning bright. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of salvation. God bless you, church. I love every one of you. And I thank God every day for every one of you that he calls. Do you hear me, church? God calls you to my channel. I don't call anyone. God is calling you. And I know you are the church that has the lamp and the oil. And if you don't have any oil, better go get it. Better go get it right now, because time is short. Have your lamps ready, and have your oil, have your lamp full of oil. Amen, church?
God bless you.